Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to get custom kill phrases in War Thunder. So first things first, go to Steam. Okay, once you have Steam open, go to Library. And then once your library pops up, find War Thunder on the left side of your screen here. Click, right click on the War Thunder and then go to manage, don't click on manage, but just hover over it, and browse local files. Now we can close out Steam for now. So now, this is what you're gonna be seeing. Now, you won't have this lang folder right here. You won't have this lang folder, but what you will have, you will have this config blk folder right here. So right here, just open it, and now you'll have this okay so now go down to the very bottom or around the bottom that's where mine is at the very bottom now go to find debug and then type this I will have it in the um, description just copy this it's test localization colon B equals yes and now that's what you'll want now make sure you save this by either um, by either going up here to file or hit Control S. Now you can close out of this. Now what you basically did is make it so your game can get this lang folder. Now your game won't have this lang folder here, so what you do is you open War Thunder and then let it just load into the menu, close it out, and now. You should have this link folder right here. If you don't have the link folder, go refresh right here. And now you should see the link folder pop up. Now what you want to do is open this and now you'll have a bunch of stuff in here. So what you want to do is find menu, now open it, and now you'll have this. So once you find this, click edit, click find or control f let's find crit critical hit right here so i changed mine f um from crit critical hit to crit hit now base damaged you can like change so just type whatever you want up here in this bar and then f uh find it and then in these parentheses or in these um brackets is going to be what will be displayed. So if it's outside of the brackets, it won't be displayed. So for example, base damage, you can delete that and put whatever you want. Uh, what you do is once you're done with that, you can close out that and then just go to file, save, control S, and then you will be done in here. You can close all this out, you can close everything, and you will be ready to have custom tags in War Thunder. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or it's not working for you, please let me know. And if this does get outdated, I will um, come and make a new video of this. But for right now, this will work for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to like this video if you find it helpful. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.